You are smiling, madam, so I have made some progress on my pronunciation. Ah, it is perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Please, you have the so, floor. Uh, madam President, uh, Madam High Representative, uh, Vice President of the Commission, uh, Honourable Members, this is the first European thematic year to be dedicated to EU external relations, and uh, it will give us a unique opportunity to bring EU development cooperation into the spotlight throughout a whole year. The EU has been engaged in development cooperation since 1957. It has long been the largest donor of official development assistance in the world and aspires to continue to remain the largest donor for the years to come. This is something we can be proud of, but it is also something which is unknown to many of our own citizens however supportive they are of development cooperation. Hence, we need to communicate more and better on what we do. The European Year for Development will highlight the results that the EU, acting together with its member states, has achieved and will continue to strive for in the future. We will work to foster direct involvement and critical thinking on the part of EU citizens and stakeholders in development cooperation. We want to show that EU development cooperation is good not only for EU partners' countries, but also for EU citizens. In a changing and increasingly interdependent world in which major shifts have taken place in the global economic and political balance, we should spare no effort to stimulate a sense of shared responsibility and solidarity among citizens in Europe and in partner countries. The 2014 Eurobarometer paints a clear picture. More than 85% of EU citizens say that the EU should continue development cooperation efforts and 67% think that the EU should actually be giving more aid. This is despite the current economic difficulties. At the same time, EU citizens also demand that we use public funds effectively and efficiently to achieve concrete results in terms of reducing poverty and building a more stable, peaceful, prosperous and equitable world. Honourable Members, in 2015 the international community will have to agree on new post-2015 development agenda. We will have the third Financing for Development Conference in July in Addis Ababa, the UN post-2015 summit in September and Global Climate Agreement at COP21 in Paris in December. European Year for Development will enrich the debate on the challenges we face in shaping future EU development policies. The 12 thematic months will put a strong focus on some of the most important topics related to development, education, gender, food security, demography and migration, human rights and governance, to name but a few. The EU institutions and member states, but also local authorities, NGOs, social partners and the private sector will be closely associated. The European Year for Development was launched in Riga on the 9th of January this year, with the presence of Mr. Jean-Claude Juncker, Madame Frederic Mogherini, the Prime Minister of Latvia, Madame Leimbiot Straujuma, and the Chair of the Development Committee of the European Parliament, Madame Linda McKeven. The Riga event focused on good governance as a key priority for the EU, both at home at in and in the post-2015 process. Several member states will officially launch their own programmes in the coming days, Belgium, Austria, Ireland, 
and France are some examples. The Member States will organise a large number of events and activities at all levels throughout the year. In addition to the Riga event last week, in March the Latvian Presidency will hold a high-level conference in Riga on gender, women's economic empowerment and sustainable development in the post-2015 agenda. Apart from high visibility events in Latvia, we have decentralized the activities to make the year as close to the citizens as possible. It will be implemented by all relevant stakeholders, NGOs, private sector representatives, academia, line ministries and local authorities. In May, Expo Milan will open its doors to thousands of visitors, involving them and inviting them to reflect on the theme of feeding the planet energy for life. This will be another unique opportunity for the EU to showcase the achievements of its development policy. I would like to underline how well the European Parliament, the Council, the Member States and the Commission have worked together in preparing the European Year for Development. The European Parliament played a key role and Mr. Charles Goerens has been a very dedicated and enthusiastic rapporteur. The discussions and exchanges between the European Parliament and the Council have always been constructive. The programme of activities prepared by the European Parliament will make a significant contribution to that success. I have no doubt that we will all continue to demonstrate the shared sense of commitment in the implementation throughout 2015. I can assure you that the Presidency will do its utmost to ensure the success of this important endeavour. Thank you very much. Thank you, Madam. Um, I now give the floor to the Commission, Madam Mogherini. Thank you. Thank you again. Uh, I would like to thank very much the Latvian Presidency uh, for the launch uh, of the uh, year that they organized last uh, Friday in Riga, uh, where uh, I was personally very uh, happy to uh, be present uh, together with uh, uh, the Prime Minister, the President of the Commission, uh, the Committee of Regions and the Economic Social Committee and Linda McEwen uh, um, that uh, uh, allowed us also to highlight the important role of the European Parliament in the process and also with many NGOs and young people. Uh, because I think that one of the things that uh, uh, we will need to work on uh, uh, very much and I uh, really appreciate the Latvian Presidency's focus on that is to make this year a European year, a year of the European people, and not only an institutional year. We have to use very much the links through NGOs, through civil society organizations, schools, universities, uh, young people. You have also presented a couple of uh, exciting uh, competitions uh, for, for normal people. I think this is going to be really a unique chance. A unique chance uh, in uh, a unique e year, 